Good morning. Good morning, lovely people, and welcome to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Um, today, I thought I would look at balances. Um, yes, the whole idea of balancing. Um, yeah, so uh, where to start? <clears throat> The thing that goes wrong with balancing, and this is how I always kind of start the thing, I try and deconstruct what the source of the problem is. Um, not just the kind of experience of it being difficult. You know, when I see people um, having difficulty with balance, it, it's kind of because of what they think balance is. And, and this is what I'm, I'm finding more and more over time, is the thing that I try and help people with is the way they are thinking about what they are doing because yes yeah because because if if um if what you think you're doing when you're balancing is putting your weight over your base and trying to make sure you don't fall over then that's what you will be doing and that's a very difficult thing to do that leads to stiffness because you have to kind of keep catching your weight with different joints and parts of your spine and whatnot. The, the source solution to balancing is change your mind. You're not holding your weight up and then balancing it over a base. What you're doing is putting your weight down through where you touch your base. Seems kind of, I don't know, it might not seem like that would make any difference but it makes a huge amount of difference. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. Hang on a sec, let's get a different camera on. Here we go. Yes, so, oh, my camera's lagging. Oh well, I have to put up with that. <laughs> Very strange to see myself move after time. But anyway, so when, when people usually do a, um, a balance, what they engage with is lifting a, a leg up, lifting a leg up, for example, and then trying to organize that so that they can relax, which they can't because they're busy holding their weight up, right? Um, that, that intention has no uh, real kind of natural life engagement. It's, 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 um, it's holding yourself away from the ground, which is a uh, strange thing to do. If on the other hand, and you, and you do this quite successfully every day, every time you take a step, every time you walk, you put your weight down. And the moment that foot goes down, the leg behind you is off the ground. Are you thinking about balancing? No, unless you feel unstable. So if you take, change your mind, take a breath, be in space, don't think about how, how you're going to balance, and simply plant a foot and put it down. Don't just put your weight on it. There's an action of touching the ground, which you do with your foot. And that action, that downward action, is the thing that brings the other leg up. Now, the next thing that, if you're going to do something like tree pose, the next thing is going to be um, putting the foot on the thigh. Now, most people make the mistake of reaching down, picking up their foot, which is, again, lifting up your weight, which will pull you down and pull you off your center. So the thing that brings your foot into place is your standing foot going down. That's it. And if you use that, then the other leg can simply come up into place because you put the foot down. And the moment it finds support, it needs to meet support. So the foot is leaning into the thigh, and the thigh, because your foot is touching the ground, which happens from the outside edge to the ball of the foot, that action, yeah, that causes the thigh to meet the foot. So you have touch going on. You have the foot touching the ground, and the foot and thigh touching each other. Okay? The um, yes, and your, your foot may wobble, right? The thing to do is not to try and control it. You let it wobble because it, it's perfectly intelligent. It knows how to 
balance your weight if you let go of your weight. And that's the key to feeling balance is you can relax your weight and breathe. And that implies that you trust the support that you're getting from where you touch the ground and where your legs are touching each other. If you can let go of your weight to breathe and feel supported in that, then you have balance. And yes, your foot and ankle will be doing what it needs to do to support, to, to keep you balanced. If you can let go of the breath, uh, it's a release of pressure inside of you. So you allow that to happen. And in doing so, because of the internal release of pressure, there's an elongation up and down. So you get to stand tall. Now, if at any point you feel like you have to hold yourself up there, you'll fall over. But if you continue to relate to the ground beneath you, to be in the space all around you, when those two things equal each other, then you will have found balance. So, um, uh, yeah, that'll do for today for, for Yoga Solutions on Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. Um, uh, I'm gonna go on to how to do extended leg balances. Because essentially, it's the same sort of idea, but there's a kind of um, way of understanding how that limb can extend so that it doesn't so, so that it doesn't pull you off balance, despite what just happened for me. There's a way of thinking about how the leg opens that leaves you in a state of balance. And I'll, I'll um, do that for my silver members. Oh, my premium members on my website in a moment. But um, let's go back here. Uh, this one, yeah. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, um, I hope that was useful. Play with it for yourself, make it your own, enjoy. Feel free to share this around wherever you like on Facebook, YouTube, anywhere else that takes your fancy. And if you want to um, see how I apply it to extending limbs and, and uh, other things, then become a premium member on my website. It's a silver membership is, is about a pound a week. Uh, less than five or, five or a month and you get access to hundreds of these um, I, I've done a, a whole load of these on various dis different subjects that come up and um, they're all instantly on demand accessible for you if you become a silver member and uh, yes all right then uh, I shall see you same time same place next week much love now bye